similar question can be asked that you might be given a class we have to convert it to immutable class so this is a normal class it is having safe uh, name uh, attribute then there is a list uh, integer array of marks list of string which is storing subjects for user and is having department uh, class reference so to make this class as immutable as per our previous uh, uh, slide first point is mark the class as final so here we can see the class is marked as final the second point is make the fields as private so all the fields are private because uh, if we mark them as private they cannot be accessed uh, outside the class third is only a parameterized constructor will initialize all the value so here we can see we have a parameterized constructor uh, which is uh, taking parameters such as name integer array of marks list of uh, string which is subjects and a department object and for name we are normally uh, uh, using this keyword to uh, initialize the value for name but for uh, integer array of marks we have to create a defensive copy so here we if the marks is not null we are creating the copy of mark or else uh, we are uh, keeping it as null similar thing for subjects and for department for depart department we are using a copy constructor where we are uh, using the current object to create a new object now third thing fourth thing was we have to provide only getters and not setters so uh, we can see we are having method such as get name get marks get subjects get department and there is no setters in this class fifth is field are usually declared as final we have seen the fields are all already declared as final and six as we have seen earlier if the class is containing reference to mutable objects we have to return the defensive copy of it so here we can see this is a copy this is a defensive copy which cannot be changed and this is again a copy where we are using the uh, current object as a copying constructor to initialize new object 